What the hell is a white IPA? We've had all kinds of different flavours of beers on this channel, but I don't think I've ever had a white IPA. Wonder what it tastes like? Check out the review to find out. Let's get ready to rock. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this one, a Hoppy Polla. Hoppy Polla, which is white IPA. Uh, it's coming at 6.7%. It's from the Drygate Brewing Company, uh, another Scottish brewery, and obviously a Scottish brewery. It's another little beer from the little um, craft beer festival. So we're getting through, we're nearly getting through all of these now. This is a small 330ml can, and. Um, I think it's Sigur Ross. I think there's something to do with that. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think I have a feeling I've heard it somewhere or seen it somewhere. So um, it looks quite nice, bright colour, but I don't know what a white IPA is. I had a quick look on it and it says white IPA with orange and coriander, which seems a sort of a weird sort of mix. So let's get this beer out of the can and into a glass and see what it's like, shall we? Um, so I've got a black IPA, which um, I don't probably haven't, um, well, at the time of this recording of this video, I haven't drank it yet. Um, whether it, I don't think it will be, this will probably be on the channel before that is. So white IPA, black IPA, normal IPA, New England IPA, um, session IPA, session New England IPA. I mean, there's, you know, the list goes on. To me, this looks like just like an IPA. It's not like bright white, so it's not even, I mean, it's a sort of yellowy, murky, orange, well, it's sort of orange, it's not yellowy, it's sort of, from this angle with the light on it, it's quite yellowy, but I can see on the camera, you can see it's that sort of browny, orangey sort of color that's come in. We've got a two finger, sort of fairly compacted white head. There's a sort of definite haze about it as well. Let's get some aroma, shall we? Yeah, definitely orangey, very orangey. Um, I mean, I'm not picking up coriander. I mean, coriander's a really strong sort of smell. I'd know if it had coriander in it. Very orangey, quite fresh. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Coriander's coming in a bit there. It's very orangey, but there's a sort of peppery, yeah, peppery, slight coriander. It's not as strong as, you know, when you think of coriander, you think, you know, it's used in curries and stuff like that. Obviously, you're not getting that sort of taste, but you're getting a very sort of herby, spicy, sort of peppery sort of flavour to it. And then it sort of goes into a bitterness. It's a bit of a strange one, really. Um, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to have those flavours in, in a beer like that. It looks quite good. Let's have another taste. It reminds me a little bit of a wheaty beer. You know, that sort of, um, that sort of wheatiness, the sort of breadiness in, in the beer. It's not as, as overly bready and wheaty as, as a wheat beer can be, but it's it's, it's it's going towards that sort of style for me. Um, yeah, I mean, IPA, it, it's, it's, I mean, what's it coming in? It's, yeah, 6.7%, that's quite high, really. It's got quite a nice body, um, low levels of carbonation. You know, a good IPA has, has that. It's that spiciness and it's quite bitter as well and it's it's not a flavor that's like I mean when you think of oranges you think of freshness and fruitiness you, you wouldn't call this beer fruity in any sort of stretch of the imagination it has that sort of bitter peppery spice on the front end and I think it's a you either love it or you hate it really there's no sort of in between and I'm I'm certainly veering towards the hating it's not a style that I enjoy. I don't enjoy beers that are sort of harshly bitter. And this has got that sort of harsh sort of almost like, it's it's almost like a sort of orange rind, really strong bitterness on that sort of side. And and coupled with that sort of peppery, sort of coriandery, peppery, spicy sort of, it doesn't really work. It doesn't do it for me. It doesn't rock my boat. And I think I've tasted enough Let's get some scores.
Okay, the scores are in for this Hoppy Polla White IPA from Drygate, part of the Craft Beer Festival in Lidl. And this comes in, I think it was 139 for a can. So, you know, quite cheap. Good job, because I didn't really like it. <laughs> Straight away, aroma. I mean, the aromas, you've got that, that orangeness, but actually more I smell it now, there's more of that sort of spicy sort of, yeah, you don't want spice, herby, spicy, peppery smells in your beer. I'm giving it a 9 out of 20. Appearance, well, it's not bad. It's sort of murky, orange, hazy. It's got, you know, it's retaining its head a little bit. It's a solid 7 out of 10, flavour-wise. I, when you, you there was when I first got the smell, I thought, mm, and I knew it, and it said in there oranges and stuff, and I thought, yeah, nice fruity orange flavour. It's not really that fruity. The the sort of spice coriander peppery um, sort of flavour sort of overwhelms it a little bit, and then it goes into bitterness. It's almost like, oh, it's not that great. The pori, you know, that sort of pepperiness. You know, surely it's gonna. And then what can it go into something good? And then it goes really sort of harsh and bitter. Not really my cup of tea at all. Don't really like it. I'm gonna. But you know, if you like that style you crazy people out there, then, you know, maybe you'd like it. But I'm going to give it 26 out of 40 for flavour. That's quite a low score. Value for money, 139. I don't feel too bad. I've only spent 139 on it. I don't even know if I'm going to drink the rest of it because I, I, I'm going to need to have another beer now because, and I wasn't going to have another beer, but I need another one just to sort of wash that taste away. It's not great. I'm giving it for value, though, because of the value, because it's 139, 8 out of 10. And then overall experience, well, I thought I've just said it, haven't I? I don't know if I'm going to finish it, and I need to drink something else to take that sort of coriandery spiciness out of my, out of you know, away from my flat, my uh, off my tongue, and I'm going to have to drink something really nice and fruity to get that away. So I'm giving it a nine out of twenty for my overall experience. So we top those scores up, we get a bit of fifty-nine out of a hundred. It's a cold play of beers, and not a very good one. So if you see this one. You might think it's cheap. How bad can it be? Well, it's not for me. Maybe it's for you. But if, give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are there any other styles like this? Uh, but any other varieties in the white IPA style? Maybe they taste better. Maybe they taste similar. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to probably do a swerve if I see a white IPA because I didn't really like this one. So until the next one, you know what you have to do. Keep on rocking.